previously on Authentic Security. Both Docker Compose and Kubernetes were used to demonstrate the installation of Authentic. Welcome back to the channel. This video, in collaboration with Authentic Security, will go over what is usually next after you get Authentic up and running, which is usually setting up your first applications. So, stick around. To start off, Authentic has many documented integrations of applications, and this is not an exhaustive list. The applications range from chat communications and collaborations, cloud providers, dashboards, hypervisors and orchestrators, infrastructure, miscellaneous, monitoring, platforms, and version control systems. And depending on the application's capabilities, these all can be paired with your choice of providers, which are the methods that allow the applications to authenticate against the authentic platform. In this video, I'll demonstrate adding two apps, NetData and Image, which I have the documentation up here, and is also one of the many applications documented by Authentic here. All documentation links are found in the description below. Let me first jump into my Authentic instance and show that my application dashboard is currently empty. As you see, my application dashboard is currently empty. I have no apps listed. Let's fix that, but first I'll quickly go over my DNS and reverse proxy setup. If you followed the previous video, your Authentic installation should be set to follow this one. Now that you have your Authentic instance up and running, Let's go ahead and set up an application or two. So, as you can see, I'm logged into my Cloudflare, which is my DNS provider, and I have my subdomains for my authentic instance and the two applications that I'll be protecting. Also, I have these same entries in my reverse proxy manager. Here's my authentic instance here, and the destination is actually pointing to the container and port because it's on the same host as my Nginx proxy manager. If I go to this tab, you can see my NetData application is actually pointing to a separate host than my Nginx proxy manager. And the same for the image app that I'll be protecting. So let's go ahead and jump into our authentic instance and log in with your admin login account. And go ahead and jump into the admin interface. and click on Applications to expand it. Now click on Applications, and you'll notice there's a new banner here. This banner says you can now configure both an application and its authentication provider at the same time with our new application wizard. You heard correct. Authentic going forward will have a wizard that will streamline the whole process of creating an application and provider. That way there isn't much jumping back and forth between the two menu options. This will make creating your applications and providers much more efficient. Again, this is a preview build and there may be one or two bugs. However, rest assured that these will be resolved with the stable release. If you don't want to use the wizard, you can actually create the application and providers the same old way by clicking on the Create button here in Applications and clicking on Providers and clicking the Create button under that menu. But for now, let's go ahead and try the wizard. Click Create with Wizard and give your application a name. The application I'm going to protect first will be image, so I'll go ahead and type that in. And as you notice, it went ahead and filled in the slug for me, and click Next. Here's the list of providers. And as the name suggests, these provide a means by which your applications authenticate against the authentic platform. So first we have the OAuth2 slash OIDC provider, LDAP. Transparent Reverse Proxy, where Authentic serves as your reverse proxy. Forward Auth Single Application. Forward Auth Domain Level. SAML. Radius. And SCIM. Since Image has OAuth2 OIDC capabilities, I'll go ahead and choose that for the provider. And click Next. As you'll notice, the wizard pre-populated the name for us with Provider for Image. So next, I'll go ahead and pick my authentication flow, which feel free to create your own custom flows to suit your needs. As you can see, I have a couple custom ones here. However, I'll go ahead and just choose the default authentication flow, 
And for my authorization flow, I'll go ahead and choose the default provider authorization implicit consent. Scroll down a little bit. If you're using OAuth2 OIDC, be sure to choose the client type confidential. And make note of your client ID and client secret as you'll need it to set up your application. Also, follow your application's documentation for the redirect URI that you'll need to enter here. For signing key, I'll just go ahead and choose the first authentic self-signed certificate and choose submit. We get a message that your application has been saved. So click on close and you'll see that your application has been created and paired with your provider. If we click on providers, you'll see that your provider is indeed created. From here, I'll go ahead and jump into the image documentation. And as I mentioned earlier, the documentation here tells me the URIs I need to enter for my provider. If I scroll down a little bit, I will be using the hostname URIs provided here, adapted for my case, of course. So I'll go ahead and copy this and go back to my authentic instance. And I'll go ahead and edit my provider. And under the redirect URI section, I'll go ahead and paste this information in. And again, adjust it for my purposes. All right, now that everything is adjusted for my case, I'll go ahead and hit update. And if I go ahead and click on my provider, this will be some of the information I'll be entering into the OAuth2 slash OIDC section of my image application. So let me go ahead and launch a new tab and navigate to my image. Go ahead and log in. And from here, I'll go ahead and click on administration and click on settings. Under settings, I find the OAuth authentication section. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And here's where we'll fill some of the information from Authentic into these fields. So I'll go ahead and jump back to my Authentic instance and get the issuer URL. Copy this and jump back to my image. And go ahead and enable this so I can enter into the fields and paste it in there. Now I'll go back and copy the client ID, which is right here and go back to image and paste that in here. And now I'll go back to authentic to get the client secret. And to get that, go ahead and click the edit button here and copy the client secret, which is here. And paste it into your application. If you scroll down in image, there are a few more settings here that you can enable if you'd like. You can enable auto register so that when you authenticate, it creates a new user. Auto launch and mobile redirect URI override for if you navigate to this on a mobile device. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'll leave everything as is and click on save. Now that should be it. So let's go ahead and open up an incognito window and test this out. I'll navigate to my image address. And as you can see, I now have a login with OAuth button down here. If I click on it, it redirects me to Authentic's login page. So let me go ahead and log in. And here we are. We've been authenticated and are logged into Image. And now let's test what this looks like when clicking on the application from Authentic's application dashboard. So let me go ahead and close out this incognito window and open up another window and navigate to Authentic. I'll go ahead and log in. And here's our image application. I'll go ahead and click on that. And from here, I'll go ahead and click on Login with OAuth. It authenticated me just fine, and once again, I'm in Image. Now let's add another application, this time using Forward Auth. So let me go ahead and close out this incognito window and jump back to our Authentic instance. Click on Applications, and we're going to use the wizard one more time. So click Create with Wizard. 
name your application. This time my application will be net data. Again, the slug fills in automatically for you. And click next. For a provider, I'll go ahead and choose forward auth single application. And click next. Again, the wizard automatically fills the name for you. So just go ahead and pick your authentication flow, which I'll go ahead and choose the default authentication flow. And pick your authorization flow. For external hosts, be sure to put in the same URL that you've entered into your reverse proxy for your application. So for me, that'll be https colon slash slash netdata.kuptonian.com. And go ahead and hit submit. And it says our application has been saved. So go ahead and hit close. And sure enough, the application has been created along with its provider. Now we'll need to add this application to an outpost. So click on Outpost. And for this demonstration, I'll be using the embedded outpost. So go ahead and choose Edit. Leave the type as Proxy and Integration as Local Docker Connection. And if you've noticed, in this preview build of Authentic, we have this nice new multi-select field. No longer will you have to hold control on your keyboard to select multiple applications. All you'll need to do is click on your applications and click on the arrow to move them over. And it'll show that item as selected. In case you have a long list of applications, there is now also search fields so that you can easily find the application you're looking for. Go ahead and expand your advanced settings and double check that your authentic host is the external URL that reaches your authentic instance. And click update. Now that we have our application bound to an outpost, let's jump back to providers. Click on the provider. Scroll down a bit. And under Setup, choose the reverse proxy that you're using. I'm using Nginx Proxy Manager, so I'll go ahead and click that. Be sure to copy this snippet of code, starting with the hashtag. You don't want to copy this first line, as it'll throw your configuration off. So again, copy from the hashtag, or pound symbol, all the way down. And now, jump back to your reverse proxy, and click Edit on the proxy host that you have set up. Go to the Advanced tab, and go ahead and paste that snippet of code under the custom Nginx configuration. Scroll up a little bit and change this proxy pass section to point to your outpost. So mine will be 192.168.0.20 with a custom port of 10443. Also, be sure to update the schema to match the port. And click Save. We should now all be set, so let's go ahead and test this. I'll go ahead and open up a new incognito window and navigate to netdata.kryptonian.com. As you see, we're being prompted by Authentic to reach our NetData service. So let me go ahead and log in. And now we've successfully authenticated and NetData has loaded for us. So let's see what this looks like accessing it from the Authentic dashboard. Let me go ahead and close this window, open up a new incognito window, and navigate to our Authentic instance. I'll go ahead and log in one more time. And now you see we have our two applications. So I'll go ahead and click on NetData. And as you see, our application loaded without any issues. You now know how to add applications to Authentic. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe. Once again, thanks for watching.